Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Whoa. <laughs> what? Oh, well, never mind. Hey, guys. I'm gonna move the mic. I don't know why I never placed the microphone where it should be to begin with. Here. Hey guys. The photo was right there. Maybe I could have another look. Yeah, yeah. In a minute, I'm just introducing myself. Well, I'm not, but I'm introducing the game. Hey guys, and welcome to Serena. Um, it's a free game on Steam, so. I don't know, if you want to play it, go find it. I'll leave a link, no doubt. Um, what else? What else? Just one more try. I know, it's pointless, but I need to do it. Yes, I will, I will. <laughs> Fucking finger. Um, but yeah, I don't know much about the game, uh, but everyone said it was kind of amazing, so... You appear to be a ghost. Serena, why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? I don't know. This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. Huh. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. My love. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. So I can't walk. Okay, I'll just use my right hand on the mouse. Sure. Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Nyam of the ice blue eyes. What? Ride with me. Shed your mortal guise. Guys? Here is our mound, a snow-white mare. Come oisin to my garden's fair. In the land of youth ply your art. Yeah, I don't understand this. I still can't understand. <laughs> no, exactly. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like oh. remnants of a broken dream. We are talking about two different things, but it's all good. Ours shall be the cycle of days. Out sun. Our sun. Ow, ow. And sky and Somewhere rainbow ways. here, in our private refuge, there must be something that reminds me of her. D don't worry, I'm looking for it. Ew. No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. True friends stand by each other through any adversity. That's true. Ew. Ew. Are you gonna look at me at some point? Are you gonna give me a jump scare? Some devil face? Are you gonna open your eyes like blah? No? Good. Yeah, it was so gross. I miss her so much. How is it possible that I can't remember her face? I don't know. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? Yeah, sure, always. What's this? Ew. Why do you have this? That is creepy. 
This whole house is creepy. It looks burned. And old. And look at all that spider web. Jesus Christ, man. It's just all around. How old is this place? I should look around some more. Yeah, 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 sure. I have to remember her face. Wait, could I? Oh. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Yeah. Come sit with me. I want to talk. And cuddle. And cuddle. I want to cuddle. I just don't have anyone to cuddle with. That's a shame. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. The most comfortable spot in the cabin, well, along with the bed, of course. Frederick Olsen. Or, said in Danish, Frederick Olsen. Yeah. <laughs> Ido, Idoia, Idoia. Iresusta Fernandez. Jesus. Hatsi Milti. Peach. Zombie space dinosaurs from the deep ate my family. <laughs> That's really creative. Zombie space dinosaurs from the deep ate my family. Vanishing town. Michael Art Hate. Art Hate. Seriously, your name is Art Hate? Perhaps in her dresser. Or something that she liked. Her dresser? We had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. Rar, 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 rar. <laughs> um, Truth be told, not all the cooking she did was a resounding success. Uh, we agreed to never attempt doing ravioli again. Ha uh ha -huh, ha. Huh. That's funny. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. Oh man, it sounds so awesome. You silly dolt. Here, give me that. Don't be such a child. I think it dates from the colonial era. Probably brought over by the pilgrims. What? Really? It belongs in a museum. Oh, we're talking about the whole thing. I was just kind of... I was thinking about the pan. I was like, what? Anything here? No? Okay. Arr. Oh, you sit down. Oh, I don't. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. You can see her face on the photo, but when you click it, it's gone. But you can see it here. That's weird. Okay, just try. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. So this you... This is most of it. You can't open it? We all... I'm not... I don't think Serena would approve of me making an even bigger mess of the clothes in here. Okay. Maybe later. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. Oh. all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. But you can't remember her face. You can remember that she takes long walks in the woods. But not her face. That's weird, mate. That is really weird. She is fairly religious. Not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. Good. She always thought our relationship was a blessing. God, how I miss her. God. 
<laughs> no longer the cynical asshole, I guess. <laughs> Her faith came as a surprise to me. She was never prudish about sex, so I just didn't expect it. I guess people simply aren't that predictable. Curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. We were surrounded by so many outside, I guess we were saturated by them. At least I Maybe I should oh, have sorry, let her bring sorry, some plants sorry. inside. She liked them a lot. Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. <laughs> Come on, man. Jokes and stuff. The furniture came with the cabin, but the bed clothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury, but without her... This. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight. Sharing the warmth. Sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guess when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. Dude. Damn. She sounds amazing. Damn. I miss her so much. How is it possible that I can't remember her face? I don't know. You shouldn't ask me. How would I know? Nothing. I should look around some more. I have to remember her face. Oh, wait. Oh. Cool. Hints. If I ever get lost. Cool. Pretty shambolic, isn't it? The organization of its contents isn't much better. It'd be a shame to say we're fashionistas. We were never that big on appearance. Serena has this mystical aura about her, even when she's wearing one of my mom's charming knitted sweaters. <laughs> oh, but I forgot to say. No, wait, did I say? Say? Say. Did I say that Serena sounds perfect? She sounds like a wonderful woman. Damn. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. 
I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. Don't forget your pill, hun. I know you'd rather not, but you know it's for the best. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. Oh. Well, well, well. Hers. I used it too, when shaving. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Yes. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. Amazing. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Dude, maybe. But wh where is she? Serena? Where is she? Hmm. 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 She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. Nor some of her other personal items. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket. New enough to still have all its teeth. Hmm. Hmm. She also had. It's just a regular. Hmm. 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 Okay, sorry. I just had to. So what do we have here? Keys. These keys are for the cabin and the car. The car. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? So, she is out? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? So she's outside. We also have a key for the outhouse. But can't be bothered outhouse. to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. In the outhouse. Oh. Ew. What is this? That looks like a like a tentacle monster sticking his hands up. What the fuck is this? Is there a purpose with this photo? I feel like it's gonna change when you get further and further. Waiting for asylum. Jeez, that's too deep for me. I can't. I'll, I'll I'll make sure to look at it again. Commune Evidence, Serena's favorite perfume. I've always told Serena that she doesn't need to wear perfume. Her presence is magical enough already. Oh, you charmer. <laughs> it smells so elegant. There's violet leaf and silk tree blossom, I think. This perfume is perfect for Serena. Why didn't I ever notice? The, oh man, the fucking atmosphere in this game is so scary in a way. I just imagine a face all of a sudden being there. And I swear to God, if a face is there all of a sudden, I'm gonna fucking shit my pants. And I'm gonna... It's been so long since I said her name man. out loud. I think that's the moment I fell in love with her, when she told me the soothing sound of her name. Serena. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Hmm. Chalk this particular purchase up to, every cabin needs one. <laughs> yeah, I... Kind of freaks me out. That would just make me crazy, I think. I'm used to sleeping to the sound of nothing, so this would kind of, I don't know. The ticking begins to feel homey after a while. No. Oh. The first night was a nightmare, though. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I, I guess you could get used to it. Time never mattered much to us while we were hiding from the rest of the world here. Oh, man. As long as we were together and happy. Ah, uh, that's what I want. I want a girl who I can just say, 
Fuck the world. We live in our own world. And we're just happy. All the time. Fuck so everyone. So glad to meet you. My name is Serena. Whoa. Fuck you, Serena. You fucking scared me. <sighs> Man. I do kind of have the volume a bit high. There, that's better. Oh. Oh. Is that a nipple? Lesbian goats. Myth or reality? <laughs> Jenny Esterdelin shows you her body art. All of it. She was special. Contradictory. She didn't mind these. Actually, I think she was into them too. Hmm. That looks interesting. We can always try it. <laughs> cool. I read it for the articles, of course. Yeah. Oh, like that one by the guy. That one about the thing. <laughs> sure, sure. The articles. Yeah, I, I get you, man. I get you. The articles. You read it for the articles. Why do I have so many places to click? They're probably just gonna do the same thing. Yeah. My heart is racing. I can't help but feel there's something I have to do. What? Unlike its sibling, this lamp would last... Oh, for maybe I should go look at the photo again. I feel like I've kind of checked out everything. Except for this. Can I check it out? Yeah. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm starting to get kind of anxiously nervous and scared, man. We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking that sometimes she would so, oh, crush sorry. her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. Uh, oh. Curious, oh. sensual thrill. Hi. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. Yeah, but you can... It was a different world back then. You can see her. My love. My love. Ew. 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 What? 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 This gets me all nervous. Fuck's sake. I hear sounds. What's that? Yeah, he's pointing at it. What's that? That right here. What's that? It's just shadows, I think. Ah, oh, I fucking... Ah. I like it, but I hate it. Yeah. different but that just it can't be different am I going mad um getting chills the fucking the, the, hold up two seconds just two seconds Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you're feeling lost. Could you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. I shall be a man. As always, I automatically went to the window side and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. Did that move? No, I don't think so. 
It looks the same, right? Oh, I don't like this. And then you dearest and then dear and you <sighs> Fuck man, what now? I know it's my general state of mind, but I feel even more depressed near this armoire. Guess I can't shake off the memory of my sweet Serena trying on her various garments. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? I can't help but feel that there's something in here, man. Oh. Yeah, man. You probably killed your wife. Am I gonna find her in here? Be honest. Does this dress show too much cleavage? I want only one pair of eyes on me. How I miss her naked back when she was standing by this armoire. The perfect curve of her neck. Her firm bottom. You probably... You killed her, didn't you? You killed her and you... Hit her in there and... I'm gonna find her body parts in here. She said to me in the letter, in our life before things went wrong. Did she ever mean them? Is there anything worse than beautiful memories? I, we pick, we pick, I want to open it. We found big enough. We found this trunk at a flea market. All those moments we sat at this table, laughing. I don't smiling. like your face. Somehow she looks sadder than I yes. remembered. She looks sad. Could I really have been so wrong about that man? Stop. Stop. Clock. I'm gonna kill you. <sighs> Just waiting for the jump scare. And I swear to God, if or when it comes, I am gonna free. I'm gonna cry. I. F oh, I can't handle this. Fucking. Let's just get it done. <laughs> What do you want me to look at? Years have passed, blah blah blah. Looks the same. I don't want to look at this. Look at the baby picture. Okay, it's the same. And this thing, it's the same. Ah, I fucking hate these games. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna drink some smoothie, and I am gonna man up. I am close to being 19 years we did old. Have a horrible fight. I just can't recall the reason. Okay. I'm a man. This is just the game. When did we let this window get so gunked up? This table has seen many happy times. The meals we shared. I kept saying I'd paint these chairs, add some color to this place. One more thing I never got around to. I sure hope she comes back soon. We could sit down and discuss our problems, uh, like we always did. We could always work things out. I didn't cook much for her. I was what? so worried about my stuff. What? Everything's getting dark. She actually threw this at me once. What? She could have killed me. That's how the bedroom window got that crack. Really? Here's your stupid armor. Jesus fucking Christ. Heavy damn thing. Cast iron. Oh, what's this? How do I... oh. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna read that. Why did it get darker? I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, Why do you look like that? Ew. She's angry now. 
Yes, she is. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb. Beyond it. Ew. Lying to I don't want to look at it. Manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do Why that? Why is she angry? Why is she? I'm the one who should have been Why scouting. is she looking angry? She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Can I get in here now? Oh, I can. I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, it used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are, to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote, when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on, you pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Us. Wow. What I remember. the... It was me all the time. I lost her, and it's all my fault. Shit just got serious. It's just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. Oh. Her jewelry box. What is it doing here? Jewelry box? Oh, what's in it? A shrine to naivety. How do I... See anything else of value? How do I see it? Can I... Click anything? I you I f ah, your face Oh Oh what the fuck I didn't even Oh What's this Her wedding ring or mine But what is it doing here Oh please no No what Oh wait Oh did you actually do it? Did you actually do what I said you did? Oh no. There's only the uh the big uh uh thing f of closet. There's only the closet left. Oh no. I remember how happy these made her. Oh, she no. smiled. That wonderful smile. I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? 
Did I ever gift her anything? It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? Yeah. No. It can't be true. It can be true. No. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There's probably going to be nothing when I click, but I'm prepared for it. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to drink some more smoothie, and when I... Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, just click. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Have I? No. It's not possible. I thought. What? Ew. 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 What? What? Oh. No. No. My god. What is this? It can't. Uh, get, get away. Is get, it? get away. Get no. Get away. Get away. Yes. <sighs> Thank you. People are talking. Is that my memory? Oh my God! I found her. She was in there. Oh. What? No. What? No. This isn't happening. Hey. Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. What? Fire will do it. Fire? will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. He spent much time here. Yeah, I'm right here. Fine. Hey. Give me the hey. Scene. Hey. No. No. They're setting fire to the place. Are you guys here? Can I leave? Seriously, oh, leave. Shit. You forgot your... Fuck. It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? Oh, no. Please. Any longer. Let me go. Place. We'll pick it from the ashes. What? Whoa. No. Hey, hey. No. Like no. No. Please. No. 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 Oh. Oh, shit, 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 shit. and I saw that name. I saw all those names, I think. Well, I saw one of them. Oh, man. I'm shaking. I am shaking. man that's one of the best free games I've ever played holy good god oh man and I fucking I said it I said it the wife was in the fucking closet holy shit good god I swear to God, I'm shaking. Oh no, are we done? 
I think I might have to say goodbye because when the game exits, it's gonna stop recording. So I don't know if it just exits right away. So um, thanks for watching. Oh, we're not done. Kinda done. Thank you a lot for watching. I appreciate it. This game was so damn amazing. You can get it yourself. Fucking beautiful graphics and stuff. I loved it. Serena. Amazing.